Hi everyone, this video is going to be about sharing files. Uh, I wanted to focus more on network sharing and about sharing off network when you have these humongous files that you need to send to somebody but there's a cap on your email and you can't really send it to them. Well, first let me focus on network sharing. Um, whether you are in a, a home group, uh, which Windows already built, or you're on a network, there's a, a very easy process to sharing files. Now, I'm on my desktop right now, and I'm going to right-click my desktop and create a new folder. Uh, and in this folder, I'm going to I'm going to name this folder uh, test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to also create a new text file, and I'm going to name this text file test. Now, I want to share this this test text file with the rest of the people in my house. So suppose that here in my house I have uh, my wife connected to the router and uh, the TV computer is on and I want everyone to have access to this test document where they can edit it, save it, uh, anything like that. This, this file could be anything. This is really like an arbitrary file type. It could really be a video or a music or you know whatever. Um, so how do I go about sharing this file with everyone here in, in my home. Well, the easy way to do it, and it's a very easy way, first I'm going to place it in a folder, and you'll see here that now I have this test folder, and in it you have uh, you have my test document. Um, and there's two ways of doing this. Uh, I'm going to show you the one that I, I particularly am used to the most. Now, I'm using Windows 8. Um, this also works with Windows 7, Windows XP. Um, you know, it's, it's a very, very similar thing. Vista, uh, you know, uh, every, every version of Windows. So how do I go about sharing it? So I got my folder right here. I'm going to right click it and from the context menu I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom where I have properties. I'm going to click on properties and you'll see that now I have some tabs here. I have a general tab where I can modify certain things. For example, uh, it's a read-only attribute. I can make it a hidden. I can hide this uh, particular uh, folder so no one else can see it. Um, I have security. I have customized, but I skipped the second one and that's sharing. So right now you'll see that it is currently shared. Um, normally, I'm actually I'm sharing my entire computer to my network. Uh, but if you're using a computer and it's not sharing anything on a network, you can just choose to share uh, this particular folder just by going to sharing and click on share. Now you see here that there's a network path. That means that this is the path that any other computer in my home will have to type in uh, in order to access this folder. Obviously, my computer has to be on uh, and connected to the uh, router. Uh, internet's not necessary because we have a home uh, network. Um, even if the internet's down, we're still going to be able to c access this network path. So this network path is really, uh, you know, like the URL or the address of this folder that if anyone puts into a computer, um, you know, they will be able to access this particular folder. Um, all right, so I'm going to click on share, and I'm going to show you the options here that, that Windows has given me. So right now, this folder is shared uh, only by me. I'm the owner. So I'm going to go in, and I'm going to say I want to share this with everyone. That means everyone on my network. As a matter of fact, if I'm connected to a home group, I can share it with a specific home group. But I'm going to choose to share it with everyone. And I'm going to click on Add. And then it's going to tell me what permission level do I want to give everyone. So read it just means that they're allowed to see, but they're not allowed to edit. Um, sometimes this is smart if you want to share items that you don't want people to modify, like uh, have an important document and I don't want someone to uh, basically make changes to it. Um, but suppose I do want people to make changes to it, like rename the file or add more to it or whatever it is, I can give it read and write um, properties. And when I click on share, you'll see here it takes a few minutes and then right away it's telling me that it is ready and it's uh, available to be shared. I can email this link to someone on my network or I could just copy and paste it into another program or I could just tell someone like, hey, hit start, hit run and type in, uh, type in your little uh, search bar, uh, two forward slashes and then the name of the computer. The name of the computer is what designates everything. Right now you'll see here I'm sharing a printer, I'm sharing a music folder, a movies folder, TV show folder, um, my wife's folder, um, sharing uh, another folder called shared, which just a bunch of shared documents, and then I'm sharing my entire users folder, which is everything on my computer. Um, so the way to do this, and uh, just very simply what I wanted to, to, to say in regards to networking, is that when you go about sharing, right, you also have advanced sharing when you can set custom permissions. Um, the way Windows has it built in a very, very simple way is that you just right-click on a folder, view its properties, go to sharing, click on the share button, and you could choose everyone or specific people um, and what, what they're able to do with the folder. Now, in advanced sharing, um, another thing I actually like to do this also is when you go to share this folder, you can give it a particular share name. 
uh, like test for example and then there's a little bit more advanced permissions here you can uh, allow full control of the folder you can deny uh, and you can add on particular this is like on a domain level on a server level this is not something you guys want to be doing really uh, I really want to focus more on the easy way of doing it um, suppose you're in a big office network and you want to go with advanced sharing and you're on uh, an active directory you can actually uh, focus on adding more people you can just click on add and it's going to ask you which people in the active directory domain do you want to add uh, in particular so say I have 60 people um, in my office and I only want to share it with uh, John James and Jane I will type in their name check them against active directory and then I will be able to allow them particular permissions um, but I'm not sharing this in a work environment what I'm doing is I'm sharing it in a personal environment and that's home so doing that I'm actually showing you how easy it is so everything is by the network path computer name and then uh, the entire uh, uh, directory of the folder or the structure set so if I'm sharing something in C Windows it's gonna say LAM PC forward slash C forward slash Windows uh, or forward slash just Windows I don't even have to put C because Elon PC is really uh, the computer I don't have to put C drive Elon PC is the drive I'm connecting to it is the shared uh, server more or less I just I'm turning my computer into kind of like a home server uh, another thing that's very important is that when you right click your little icon on the bottom for your internet you know you have a little uh, internet icon on the bottom it says what uh, network you're connected to when you right click that and you go to um, open network and sharing center and this is a dialogue you've probably seen many times uh, it just tells you like how you're connected um, you know what, what what's basically there uh, you'll see here I'm joined to a home group um, and you could see here what I'm sharing through my home group. Home groups are really cool. Um, I can't say I really use it much. I mean, they, they just try to make uh, sharing more, uh, what's the word, more easy or more understandable vocab-wise to people, verbatim, like share to a home group. Uh, where you're, What you're really doing is you're, you're creating uh, a small network. Uh, and that's essentially what, what I just did over here. I'm basically creating myself a small uh, network so you could set up a home group uh, it's, it's very very uh, simple to do but I don't want you to do that what I want you to do what I'm focusing on is the easiest way of sharing things and that's by right clicking something mainly a folder not just a file go into its properties go into the sharing tab and then click on share make sure you designate everyone to be able to access it because I'm assuming the majority of people that'll be seeing this are small offices uh, that want everyone uh, and you'll be given don't forget to give them the read and write privilege otherwise they're not going to be able to make changes to these files that means that if my wife decides to open up my shared folder go into my uh, folder and open up notepad for example she won't be able to make changes to that text file uh, why because I only give her read privilege but if I give her write privilege she can even delete it so remember it's a little dangerous to share write privileges also because that means anyone in your home uh, that can access your computer can uh, can basically connect so another thing you should know also is the computer doesn't necessarily have to be logged in you just turn the computer on and as long as the computer is on even without you putting in a password to log in the shared file is still available uh, and the way to, to connect to a shared uh, computer is just by simply typing in two forward slashes uh, just typing in the computer name so here in my case I'm just typing in Elon PC and you'll see here it's coming up so that's how you share on a small network that's really what I wanted to, to really main focus the video about a lot of people are wondering well, how do I share well this is how you share it's very very simple so I'm gonna delete this now and I'm gonna go to another form of sharing so let's say I have someone um, in another state who wants me to send them a file and the file is ginormous uh, as you know there's a cap on emails uh, you can't send more than let's say I don't know uh, 10 10 megs let's say I have a hundred meg file right I have a hundred meg file how do I get that file over to them um, well if you looked at my other video I actually showed a tutorial about this there's a video called um, office 2013 and SkyDrive that I made and it shows you how to use SkyDrive which is a cloud and I'm, I'm gonna go back and touch on that real quick um, You'll see here that now I have a SkyDrive folder, a uh, SkyDrive folder that's basically connected over with all my documents and everything really I have that I work on online, uh, Office 365 and web apps. So with SkyDrive, which is a cloud, I'm able to upload a file to the cloud um, and share that file with somebody. I don't have to email it to them necessarily. I could just upload the file over to uh, my, my SkyDrive directly from my computer. So I can make uh, here, let's say... Um, uh, here I have a sample folder here on SkyDrive and I can go and take a file like for example I'll take my friend's resume and I'm gonna drag it and drop it into this uh, into this folder see I can I can drag it into this folder and as soon as I'm done with that I can click on I can right click the file go to my SkyDrive tab 
and I could choose to share it. Right? So what's going to happen now is that I'm going to have Internet Explorer pop up, and I'm pretty sure it's going to ask me for my username and password, but I think oh, it already automatically logged me in. It, uh, it, it actually let me in all on its own, which is very cool. Um, and let me go to my primary SkyDrive, and I'm going to show you right now what I'm going to do. SkyDrive gives you about 7 gigs of data for free. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's very, very simple. I do have a public folder. I don't want to use my public folder because, say, I want to share with a specific person something. So here, let me just quickly log into my SkyDrive. Now, keep in mind, what I'm trying to explain to you is that a cloud service, um, a cloud service is very good because you can actually host things online um, and, and you can uh, uh, share those things with other people as links. Okay, so you see my SkyDrive now has my friend's uh, resume in it. And I just clicked it and you see Word is going to open up and here's his resume. Um, so now I want to share this document with somebody. So I can just click on it and I can choose sharing, right? And I can send this file in an email to somebody. All I got to do is type in the email address. Um, I can also post it to LinkedIn. Uh, and I can also get a link for it. I can create a link. I can create a link for someone to only view the file. I can create a link for someone to view and make changes to the file so I can then download it myself. Or I can make it public so anybody who has access to my public folder can view this file. So that's that's really the, the main beauty of this. So if I download a movie and I want to share the movie with uh, a family member uh, who's not around uh, you know, in my apartment and I can't necessarily just share the folder um, because sharing only works when you're on an internal network. Uh, what I could do is I can create a SkyDrive account, uh, which I already have, and I can upload the movie to SkyDrive and just create a link for viewing uh, or make it public. Send them the link through email, just like they send an email over here. They can download it over on their computer, and then I delete it from SkyDrive. Um, so that's just an example of, of how, how you can share. So this is, this is like cloud networking, where, where you can share files with people. Also, there's a great service online called, um, what is the name of the service? It's called U senditcom and it's basically just a platform for sending extremely large emails I believe they only do up to uh, one gig um, they do have a free trial uh, I don't do free trials I just do things for free um, I don't like to pay for for things like this uh, but with you send it.com essentially it's the same thing SkyDrive does except you just select a file put in your email who it's to then you click on send so you have about up to one gig to send big files over um, or you could do the very next best thing which is sign up for a SkyDrive account you don't need Microsoft Office just like I have it but I do recommend look at my YouTube videos I do have a SkyDrive uh, an Office 2013 uh, video up I believe I made it uh, by last week. Um, and it shows you how to use SkyDrive and all the cool things you could do with it. And there's another cool thing you can do with it. You can share things over the web through the cloud. Uh, so just to recap of this video real quick, uh, remember, if you want to share something with somebody in your home, in your office, anything you want, you can just create a folder, right-click that folder, go over to sharing, make sure that it's shared by clicking the share button, assign it to, let's say, everyone in your, in your network. Now, people must be on the network either Wi-Fi or with a cable, but they must be connected to the same access point, the same router. The computer must always be on, always be on. Um, if my computer is off, anything I'm sharing is going to be inaccessible. Um, once you have a folder that's shared, anything you drop in that folder would automatically inherit those sharing privileges and become shared as well. Um, and that's how you share on an internal network. And if you want to share something across the board, if, for example, outside the network, just go on Microsoft, like I said, if you watch my other video, go on Microsoft, go to live.com, sign up, you'll get SkyDrive. This is SkyDrive right here. It's a part of my computer. Another great service you can do is download Google Docs, uh, Google Drive. I also have a Google Drive account here. Take a look. This is my Google Drive account. It's very similar to SkyDrive. These are two clouds that I'm using at the same time, both of them connected to my computer, uh, and I'm able to either select to upload to Google Drive or upload to SkyDrive. Whichever one that I upload to, it's going to become online. It's going to become pretty much live. Uh, and I'll be able to share it with other people. So that's that's really the idea. This is really what I wanted you guys to see, um, how to share, how easy it is to share. So if you have never known anything about sharing, you can actually share it to your iPad device, uh, PDFs, eBooks you download online, um, you know, your eBook readers. You can share it with laptops, netbooks, um, and things of that nature. And uh, also, you can always FTP it to your web hosting. Like I have a FTP account, for example. I shouldn't really make a video about this as well, but I do have an FTP client. If you own uh, your own website, your own web server, you can just upload a file to your web server and share it with a link. But, you know, with the use of today's technology, especially something like a cloud, like SkyDrive or um, Google Drive, 
you actually have that ability to do this without paying any money at all, having over five gigs of free transfer data, uh, and you could share any file you wish that you want. And this is how you share files. Of course, you can always make a torrent as well. Um, you can create a torrent if you want to share publicly, but that's a whole other topic. So that will be the conclusion of the video. Again, uh, you can find this video and many more on my YouTube channel, or you can go over to my blog at dangerstudio.com. Uh, you know, please subscribe if you like uh, and share with others. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Bye.